From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is Bon Secours Health System has selected Fidelity Investments to become the new service provider for the Bon Secours Retirement Savings Plan. Everyone's interested in retirement, so listen up. This will affect you, but it's good news. Effective July 14, 2014, all Bon Secours Retirement Savings Plans currently with Valic will transition to Fidelity Investments. Why? Well, Bon Secours believes that Fidelity will offer employees an even better way to plan and prepare to meet our financial goals and investment objectives for retirement. Next question. So what exactly is changing? Well, not much really. The overall plan design will remain the same. Obviously, some of the investment options in the plan will change, but the majority will transfer to Fidelity and remain unchanged. There will be some new features offered by Fidelity, features like leading edge online planning tools, excellent customer service, net benefits, your online Fidelity account website, net benefits smartphone app, easy to understand communications and education, and one-on-one -on -one consultations. And while the change is scheduled to occur in July 2014, there's nothing extra you need to do. Or maybe we should say that employees should continue to access their plan accounts or obtain information, as you currently do via Valic and your local Valic financial advisor. Now, there will be a two-week period just prior to the transfer when service will not be available. This break in service is to facilitate the transfer, but until then, it's business as usual. As we get closer to the transfer date, details will be finalized. For instance, in late spring, all Bon Secours employees can expect to receive a letter with a calendar of events, among other things. So, what do you do until then? Well, right now, there is no action required by employees in terms of the transfer to Fidelity. Naturally, you may want to review your accounts to ensure everything is correctly transferred. But again, as we approach the July transfer, more information will be coming out. Now, if you have questions, you can always contact the retirement folks at bishi underscore retirement benefits at bishi.org. Also, meetings to outline the details of the transition and to provide some general investment and retirement planning strategies will be held by Fidelity in early summer. Oh, and details and local schedules will also be provided in the transition materials. Retirement planning is one of the most important benefits you receive from Bon Secours, and the plan is not changing just the service provider. Again, the effective date is July 14th, 2014. So stay tuned. We'll get you more information as soon as that information becomes available. In other news, our Lady of Belfont Hospital has unveiled their new OLBH Heart Failure Clinic. The clinic is located on the hospital campus on the second floor of the Human Motion Vitality Center. The goal of the Heart Failure Clinic is to improve the quality of life of patients with heart failure and increase their function and capabilities to allow them to remain in their homes and return to a normal life. The OLBH Heart Failure Clinic provides patients who have been hospitalized with heart failure issues a quick appointment at the clinic within a week of being diagnosed. Patients are provided comprehensive education and an assessment during each visit. According to clinic nurse practitioner Debbie Martin, APRN, caring for heart failure patients can be challenging and time consuming. For this reason, we're happy to offer the clinic and its experts to area residents whose lives have been affected by heart failure. OLBH cardiologist Yogendra Prasad, MD, serves as the clinic's medical director with support from Debbie Martin, APRN, and Tiffany Malloy, RN. For details, go to Our Lady of Belfont Hospital's website at www.careyoucantrust.com or 
the Bishi website at bishi.org and look for Bon Secours Kentucky Health System under Facilities. Bon Secours Our Lady of Belfont Hospital's new heart failure clinic. One more way, we are good help to those in need. Finally, Dateline, Suffolk, Virginia. On February 24, 2014, Bon Secours Health Center at Harborview announced the expansion of the Millie Lancaster Women's Center to include an additional mammography room with 3D mammography technology. This is the latest in innovative ways to assist doctors in examining breast tissue. 3D mammography allows doctors to see breast tissue one layer at a time using high-powered computing digital breast images. In turn, these images can be viewed as a detailed 3D reconstruction of the breast. According to Dr. Susan McKenzie, in the fight against cancer, early detection is our most powerful weapon. Mammography is the only proven breast cancer screening tool to reduce mortality. Digital breast 3D mammography is the latest innovation in breast cancer detection. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among women and one in eight women will develop breast cancer sometime in her lifetime. 3D mammography, when combined with conventional 2D mammography, has a 40% higher detection rate of invasive cancer than conventional 2D mammography alone. This helps doctors diagnose cancer at an earlier stage and, when caught early, five-year survival rates for breast cancer are as high as 98%. You can find out more about 3D mammography at Bon Secours Health Center at Harborview by going to bshr.com or bshsi.org, then look for Bon Secours Health Center at Harborview under Facilities. Bon Secours Health Center at Harborview's new 3D Mammography, our response to ensuring our care is extraordinary. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.